Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we uh, had a very unwarm welcome from the Tenku, which is like this assassin group or something. I don't even know. But yeah, anyway, we kicked their butts, and now we're gonna find Yafutoma, which should be right around, right in front of us somewhere. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so there's actually a discovery around here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, he's over here. Oh, yeah, for Tom. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Ancient leg legends speak of Yafutoma as a mythical land to the east, covered in gold and populated by a proud, polite people. Cut off from the world by dangerous currents, it has developed a very dis... a dis... Where did I get very from? Distinctive culture. First discovered by Vice, the Blue Rogue. That's me. I'm the first one to discover this crazy place that already has people on it. <laughs> I feel like Christopher Columbus! Too soon? Yeah. What the devil? I Im Imazel and Cana Canazel. <laughs> I remember these things. They are like basically immune to magic damage, including Lambda Burst. But luckily, we got the jump on them, so I'm just gonna guard this turn. Just so I can skip to this turn and use Rain of Swords. But they, I think they're. Yeah, they're green. Let's use red. Rain of Swords. You're all gonna die. I think Rain of Swords is physical. That's why it can actually hurt them. And then the burst can't. It's kind of hard to tell with some of this stuff. It's kind of like just trial and error. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, they, there's La Yafatoma. Looks pretty sweet. It's like a series of islands with water pouring down it. It's very, um, feng shui, I guess. <laughs> uh, there's actually two more discoveries around here that I want to get before we head into town. One's right over here. We found a deerce! That's a big animal. Once upon a time, there was a gentle creature called a deerce that lived in the forest. Villagers believed that getting kicked by the deers would make them rich, so they chased him around until he ran away. The Afutoman fairy tale. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Kick me! Oh man, one more discovery. And oh my god, does this giant mountain remind you of anything? Nah. <laughs> it's pretty sweet though. Okay, so just north of this mountain. There should be a flock of birds flying around somewhere. Up near the cloud layer. Let's see if we can find them. Kind of hard to spot because they're white. Yeah, they should be around here. Come on, little birds. I just want to discover you. Dude, where the heck? Oh, I see him. Barely. Oh my god. The Wander Birds. The Wander Birds are large migratory birds from the far north. Revered since ancient times as symbols of long life, their cry is rarely ever heard, but the clarity and beauty of their song is said to put all other birds to shame. I would like to take one of those as my uh, parrot. Hmm. That would be good. And then I could be like, hey, Gilder, look at my bird. Puts yours to shame, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, Yafutoma, I'm coming for you, your beautiful land of peace and joy. The water is so clear, it's beautiful. I wonder where we are. Uh, Yafutoma. 
Huh? Oh, hello. Wow, that ship! It's so huge! Are those westerners? They dress funny. Hey, look! Their hair isn't black. I wonder what they eat to make their hair that color. <laughs> My hair is really gonna stand out over here. Invaders! Why have you come to Yafatoma? Uh, for the sights? Sights and sounds? These lands are protected by Mount Kazai and the Blue Moon. Under the sovereign reign of Lord Mikado, invaders will be punished. Ooh. Yafutoma? Is this really Yafutoma? Yes, you have invaded Yafutoman lands. We did it, we did it! We're in Yafutoma! <laughs> yeah. Well done, Vice. This will be recorded in the history books. How dare you invade our lands? I shall strike you down where you stand. Do, are you even paying attention to me? I'm obviously tourist. <laughs> Wait, don't attack them. Visitors, our primary responsibility is to defend Yafutoma. Please forgive our rush to arms. Lord Mikado has said that he would like to speak to you, with you. Please, if you would come with me. Lord Mikado? I suppose that he's probably the king of these lands. We should follow him. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> All the villagers got there before the guards. Oh boy. So, you came from the land where the sun sets. Welcome to Yafutoma. My daughter Mo Moigi has always been intrigued with the West. Haven't you, my dear? Yes, father. Please, I would love to hear all about your homeland. And if there's anything that I can do for you, just ask. <laughs> sure, but I don't want to be too much of a burden. King Mikado, as an advisor of the royal court, I must say that I am opposed to the idea of foreigners entering our lands. Foreigners have only brought us disaster. We must cleanse them from our lands immediately. We must agree with my father. The Westerners can only bring us trouble. We should dispose of them at once. They are our guests. We must welcome them. They can teach us a great deal about the West, and there is much that we can teach them as well. But I would like to know why you have traveled uh, to Yafutoma. We're searching for the moon crystals to prevent our enemies from using them to destroy the world. The blue moon crystal? Hmm. I think you're referring to the jewel that has the powers of the blue moon. The object that you are searching for lies underneath Mount Kazai. Here in Yafatoma, we refer to the object as the Maga Sphere. Mount Kazai is considered by our people to be a holy mountain, and deep within the mountain lies the azure colored jewel. Our ancestors passed the jewel to the successors of the throne. After the cataclysm, the jewel was sealed inside Mount Kazai. An azure colored jewel? <laughs> wow. Freaking, I don't know, it's not even a tongue twister, but it. Twisted my tongue up in all that crazy way. I vice that has to be the moon crystal. At one time, Mount Kazai was a volcano, and there is no known way inside. The Maga Sphere has been lost since the days of the old world. If you were to retrieve it for us, we would be eternally grateful. So, the Maga Sphere is at the bottom of that huge mountain? Leave it to us. Don't worry, we'll get it back for you. He's awfully trusting for seeing for foreigners for the first time. <laughs> I gotta say. I mean, heck, what if we we used it to destroy the world, you know? That would be pretty ridiculous. So yeah, oh man, this place... This has got to be my second favorite place so far, I think. It's just so peaceful and beautiful. All the water everywhere. Man, oh man. I don't really know how these elevators work, though. They, <laughs> they just kind of... They just kind of do. It must just be moonstones. Anyway. What the devil is this? 
Look, look, look. Um. Looks tasty. This bird looks rather tasty, don't you think? Looks tasty, looks tasty. My goodness, it's mimicking you. Don't you go teaching it any naughty words now, Vice. Looks tasty, looks tasty. And from that day forward, the crazy bird scared all the children for days. Stupid bird. <laughs> it's like a parrot, but a very, very overweight parrot. Oh, Lordy. What have I wrought upon this land? Cham! Chim cham flim flam. Yeah, look how cool this is, man. They just have all this water. It's like a waterfalls coming from these islands. This place is amazing. Hello, did you girls? Someone's not being very nice here. No, I don't want to practice sailing. I don't care if I can't sail a tub ship. Prince Daigo will come back home by himself just fine, even if I don't go searching for him. I don't want to talk to her again. Dagnabbit. Oh my lord. W way, to get your, way to get your facing wrong. Yeah, big sister. Come on, hurry up and get in. You said you'd practice sailing in this tub ship. If you can't even sail a tub ship, you'll never going to be able to help search for Prince Daigo. Uh, you're a jerk. <laughs> so yeah, apparently Prince Prince Daigo is uh, not around. <laughs> Very interesting. Hello. Are you paying attention to your customer? Come right in. What can I get you? I would like something. Uh, ooh, a su sweet siren blade. You're actually gonna need this for recruiting someone, so it's actually really important. And it's better than what I had, so might as well. Uh, and this is better. And that's better. <laughs> Upgrades galore. Oh my sweet heavens! Ooh, ooh, that's good. Um, ooh, magic defense and will. Huh? Uh, that might be good for Fina, but I'm pretty sure Enrique has something that he needs. Oops! God dang it! <laughs> All right, and then we'll get that for Aka. And a couple of these. Okay, now that I've spent plenty of money, let's get the heck out of here. Tenku is the name of a gang of, a gang of outlaws. They go about seizing weapons, spouting something about how bare hands are more powerful. You say you ran into the Tenku? You're lucky to get out. Get, uh, you're lucky you got away without losing your weapons or your life. Yeah, they weren't so tough. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. You come on back now. You hear? <laughs> okay, that does not fit your stereotype, sir. I'm to oh, up. Jeez. Come on back now, you hear? Come on back now. Hey, old woman. Well, my, my. What can I do for you? I, oh. You can sell me Rosellum crystals. You're a glorious woman. I enjoy your company. And we've got plenty of these. Well, might as well get some more of these. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really need money for anything else. Oh yeah. The Great Wall that surrounds this island was built by our ancestors in order but to protect the country. But the Great Wall isn't what really protects us. What really protects us is the blue winds. Oh, that's nice. Alright then, please come again. I will someday, someday maybe. You're the only one that sells Resolum Crystals so far. <laughs> 
There's a secret passage back here. And we can steal all of her money. We're so cool. Sorry, lady. <laughs> Yikes. But who stashes their money on, a, on an island behind their shop? That's pretty suspicious. Okay, so... Oh, this is where this place gets kind of confusing. <laughs> um... Let's see, what are we gonna do here? Rock a check a check a check, rock a girl, rock a check a check a check a check a girl. I think there's a chest or something over here. I don't even know. But I do see you. Hello. Hello. You must be one of those Westerners I've heard about. It's really. Is it really? It's oh, it's really true that you don't have black eyes and hair, isn't it? My dream is to bring lots of Westerners like you to this country as tourists. I want people from all over the world to see our pi picturesque Mount Kazai. Oh yeah, let's take a look. Oh, Mount Fuji. I mean Kazai. Sweet. Okay. Well, apparently I remembered wrong because. I could have sworn there was a chest or something. Huh. Oh well. That's okay by me, unless it was up here. Which it is. Oh no, it's not. This looks like a little... like... Ugh, this looks a little like a game we have back at home. But the game pieces look different. I wonder how you play this game. Chinese checkers, I think. I think that's what that is. Yeah, it's not Othello. That's probably what it is. Anywho. Um, 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 um okay. I think I know what to do. I, I think I know what to do. I think... So here's the tub boat guy. Hey, it's a foreigner. Step right up for your tub ships. You can get on and off at a dock. Thanks, dude. I guess it's free. So, yeah, look at these things, man. These actually exist. Like, you just like wiggle this little paddle around and it moves you. I don't know how that. Oh, that'd be so hard to control. <laughs> Can't even imagine. But anyway, what are we doing here? We are over here. But you might think, what the heck are you doing? I'll show you. Move it, cluck face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that sounded a lot ruder when I actually thought of what that could actually... Just like what it was based off. But it wasn't based off that. I just meant... You know. Anyway. So you can turn this little thingy jigger. And raise the bridge. So we have to... We, we had to go over there to do that. Because now we can't cross it. And these signs are written in an unleg illegible language. So I think... Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna test it because I'm too impatient. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I said that. Ugh. I'm sorry if that offended people. I'm sure it didn't, but it was it was very close to a very mean thing to say. I don't have anything against that bird other than he's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, that I meant to do that. Yeah, we can go over here. Um, oh boy, let's see if I remember what the heck I'm doing here. Oh, this place is confusing. Hello, this is not where I wanted to go, I don't think, but let's talk to the people in here anyway. Cleaning lady, oh god. Princess Moigi has really been down in the dumps lately. I wonder if it's because she's worried about her brother. Goodness me, why am I rattling on to a visitor from abroad who I've never met for the first time? Please pay no attention. Okay. You know, sir, my big sister spends all her time worrying about how our princess is doing. 
the wait. wait a minute, what? Is this your big sister? Why did it say she was a cleaning lady if this is your house? Ugh. Sometimes. They are probably like, should we just have her be a cleaning lady or should we That's kinda of racist. That's kinda of racist. I hope that's not what they meant by that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> They're keeping this thing as a pet? Food, food! Hmm. Apparently someone who lives here is a very hungry person. Okay, apparently I didn't know what I was doing. Nope, I sure didn't. So I gotta go over here to this construction worker. How you doing? Oh, you must be the Westerners they're all talking about. I'm Kerala. Yeah, Kerala, yeah. I'm the best builder in the country. So what do you think of our town? I bet you don't see such fine structures in your country. You're right about that. You're right about that. What a difference between seeing something and only hearing about it. You've really got a fine looking town here. Haha, <laughs> you really think so? Well, it sure warms my heart to hear you say that. Say, maybe I should go back to the west with you and visit your country. I could probably show you westerners a uh, thing or two that would really amaze you. Hey, hey. What are you going to do about this place then? It's still under construction. <laughs> Not to worry. This is my own house. Uh, it was getting pretty old, so I decided to remodel. Well then, it's decided. I'll go back with you to your country and build all sorts of things for you. Incidentally, I've, I have a little sister named Ura Urala. <laughs> Jeez. You might want to give her a holler too. Okay. We got a builder! Our first builder. Wow, remodeling? You freaking tore your entire house down. That's insane. <laughs> okay, so what does she do? Uh, replenishes your ship's HP to full. Now, I know that sounds really, really good, but it actually costs one more SP than uh, just using Sacralin. So, I mean, basically you're switching up an SP point for an MP point. That's all that really is. Not as good as you'd think, but, uh... I guess that's all I wanted to do here? Jeez, I don't remember half this place, man. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Man, this video's already been really long and we're not even through here yet. Okay. Take me up, teacup. Hey, that rhymes. Yeah, take me up, teacup. So it takes us up here, and then we have to use this boat to then fall down. Like, what? Why don't you just build stairs to the main island? Why could you do this? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyway, we got our top boat, so that's all I care about. Oh, here's the item I was... Oh, no, the bridge went... Oh, god dang it. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna cut and open this door, so we'll be right back. Okay, it's open. <laughs> I probably should have done this first. Let me off. A moonberry. That was kind of worth it. Actually, I should probably use those, huh? I haven't done that in many a many a minutes. Dude, I have eight. Let's see. Let's learn Aka's thing. Omega Cyclone. Summons the power of the red moon to destroy all enemies on screen. That's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. I don't know if it's a guaranteed kill or... I think it just does a lot of damage. Um, okay, so all we have left is... Fina's and Enrique's final things. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, let's learn that one. So that revives, cures all adverse effects, and completely restores HP of all allies. That is a freaking saving grace. Holy moly. But, I mean, the, the thing is, she's gotta be alive, and... We all know how much flat face Fina goes down. Jeepers creepers. Okay, so now we get to this very inconvenient restaurant. It makes the food taste better if it's harder to get to. Because it's like you worked to get here. <laughs> 
Oh, look, it's Urala. Oh, please come in. What can I get you? Looks like they have waitresses in Yafutoma, too. Waitru... Uh, I'm sorry, I, we don't have anything like that on hand. Ah, you misunderstood. We were talking about you. <laughs> That's right. You're our meal. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was what you wanted to order. Don't mention it. We're the ones who should be apo uh, who should apologize. We're in a bit of a rush right now, but we'll come back some other time, okay? Uh, all right. Um, thank you for coming in. Say, are you by any chance Kerala's little sister? Y yes, I am. But why do you ask? I thought so. Actually, Kerala has decided to join the crew of our ship uh, as a builder. We're wondering if you might be interested in joining our crew too. Me? But, uh, unlike my sister, I'm not good for much of anything besides cooking. Cooking is perfect is a perfectly fine skill to have. How would you like to join our crew as a cook? Sure, okay. My sister's going too. But are you sure I qualify for the job? Of course you do. You can make us all kinds of tasty Yafatoman dishes. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm really do my best. Thank you so much. Okay, we got our second cook. Sweet. Let's see who's better. <laughs> Polly or Urala? Uh, max out your spirit points or replenish one character's MP. Aral is better. Cool. Wow, look at this. Look at this little water wheel thing. If I can't look up. There we go. There's a river running through the middle of the room. And even a little water wheel. It's sort of relaxing. Yep, that's what they do. <laughs> now that Aral is leaving here, it feels like a part of this place is leaving with her. She brought us so much life to this place. Without her, this place will feel so empty. But she is free to live her own life. I wish her the best of luck. Oh, that's very nice of you. Hello. I am not surprised that after learning her older sister Kerala would be leaving with you, that she too decided to leave. But to think that the two of the most beautiful women in all Yafutomo will be leaving at the same time is very saddening. <laughs> Of course, of course they're the most beautiful women. Yeah, they just join me all willy-nilly. I mean, I'm Vice, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? Alright, guys, I know this video's been really long, so I'm just gonna end it here. Next time, we'll uh, continue exploring Yafatoma? I mean, there's not really too much left, actually. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll just head to Mount Kazai. So, yep, see you guys next time.